And there are several more award races that stand out. CBS 2's Jim Williams and political analyst Ed Marshall. Yeah, they break it all down for us in those races. Jim, Ed? Erica and Joe, we start with the fourth ward. Lamont Robinson has a commanding lead, but doesn't have 50% of the vote yet, Ed. No, and uh, but this is a very important race because it, it represents uh, the change in the in city council. Lamont Robinson is, a, is currently a state rep who had the endorsement of both uh, Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle and Governor J.B. Pritzker. Um, <clears throat> he has uh, ter terrific uh, credentials, and uh, it is likely that he will have a very strong showing in, uh, in the general. In, the, in April. That ward was rep represented by Sophia King. Who well, Sophia King who just had to make the decision to yeah. leave council in order to run for mayor. Yeah. And that, that leaves that open. And again, it's, 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 a, it's a sign of just how the city council is changing to replace all these retiring aldermen. Let's move on to the 10th ward, northeast part of the city. Peter Chico is leading the pack with 41%, but will also have to go to a runoff. Now, this is significant because the 10th ward was represented for decades by uh, Ed Verdoliak. A uh, very, very famous and uh, a nefarious sort of a guy who wound up uh, going to prison after his uh, term in office. But this is the award that extends all the way down to Indiana. It doesn't often get a lot of attention from the news media. Yeah. Um, Susan Sadlowski Garza uh, decided to retire, and it was an open seat. And this, uh, this man, uh, Mr. Chico, Peter Chico, has a terrific resume. He fits the, uh, the demographic. He's lived in the ward his entire life. He's a police officer. His father was a uh, steel workers union official, so... Uh, again, this represents uh, the, the will of the, of the voters at a time when uh, the city is changing uh, with all these aldermen leaving at the same time. And Anna Guardo is uh, in second Anna place. Anna is in second place, and so there will be a runoff, obviously. I don't think there's going to be enough votes uh, for Mr. Chico to win outright. Finally, let's look at the 34th Ward, a much different 34th Ward than we've been used to seeing. 34th Ward had been way up on the far south, far south side, now is in the Fulton Park this, market this is essentially a created ward. Uh, it went from uh, being a very, very a prominent African American ward that produced a number of African American leaders over the years. Uh, now it's a, it's essentially on the down in downtown Chicago and in Fulton Market. So it's gone yeah. from a dominant African American ward, and it was rewritten by lawyers in back room uh, at City Council uh, to reflect uh, population changes. So you can see that um, Bill Conway, who is a an up and comer, he uh, is an ran attorney for, who ran against ran for uh, Cook County Kim, State's for, Attorney, Cook County State's Attorney yeah. against Kim Fox. And he, he easily beat Jim Ascott, who was a, a well-connected uh, realtor and someone who was a prominent in the real estate community uh, in the Fulton Market and the near west side. Important night because 12 incumbent aldermen decided not to run. Right. And if you, if you look at the council uh, as a whole, we're going to have all these new faces, and uh, many of them have never been in, pol in, in government or politics before. And I really think that whoever is the mayor is going to have... Um, a, a, a little bit of a leg up because he'll have an op he will have an opportunity to make um, inroads with these new aldermen who don't know what it's like to be an alderman and, and may have a grace period in which they can ingratiate themselves, develop personal relationships that perhaps Mayor Lightfoot was unable to make yeah. and could, could make a much uh, smoother transition this time around. Ed Marshall, thanks so much. All right, thank Joe you, guys. Erica. Appreciate it. All right, we want to go back to some other wards here. Let's start you off with the 36th Ward, if you can bring that up. Now, this is uh, one where we're seeing a change in the redistricting. Here's the original 36th Ward on the left, and now you can see it stretched very thin there along Grand Avenue. Now, with the results in that ward, if we do have those for you here, again, you're looking at the map here, old and new. And the 36th Ward, just to remind you, it was uh, Alderman Gil Villegas who was trying to fend off three challengers there. And right there with the incumbent, he falls short. Shy of that 50% plus one. So it looks like that one will be headed to a runoff.